Hello and welcome to our walking meditation for the series, Everything is Spiritual. Today's topic is, Everything is Possible. My desire is to take that prompt and to somehow turn that into something spiritual and beautiful. Everything is possible. When you look out at today's world and see all that's going on and see such a huge temptation to look at life and not see it as some place that is good, the best time to stop and reflect. To figure out how to find God in the midst of these circumstances. How to feel, feel held, protected, carried, safe. And even in the midst of so much uncertainty, still feel that everything is possible. So I walk on this road in Apache Junction, Arizona. I think about how amazing it is that I get to live here and see these sights and remember all the times in my life when I thought I wouldn't be able to get through. As a military wife, I have moved many times. I have had to reform my dreams, my goals, put the needs of my military spouse before everything else, put the needs of my family before everything else. and somehow find a way to still believe everything is possible. I celebrated my birthday just this last week. 52 years old. And I'm very reflective usually on my birthday, so to think back of all the things I could have done wasn't able to do and somehow found a way to make it through. Found a way to build a culture and a lifestyle that I truly love. Explore my creativity. Study to be a yoga instructor. get a degree in theology, get a life coaching certification, and slowly but surely all those things built on each other. So at the age of 52, I can still say everything is possible. Now I will say that I knew some things needed to change because I think with each decade there is a reality that your body starts to slow down a bit your mind starts to slow down and if you're not careful the things that you used to do you just simply are not able to do it you don't have the strength, you don't have the courage you don't have the stamina and so you have to be very mindful that those milestones are important that chronologically things are slowing down and how can I still have maximum benefit so now three weeks ago I started exploring the plant based lifestyle which I can say so much easier than it was five years ago, 10 years ago, 
20 years ago when those who crafted this out, this path before me, had to really be diligent. I simply have to Google vegan lifestyle, plant-based lifestyle. The recipes come up on Pinterest. The stores, mainstream stores and grocery stores carry what I need to make it nice and convenient for me. So even in that, I'm reminded everything is possible. It wasn't easy to get to this awareness. It is a practice. Some days I wake up feeling it. Other days I have to walk by faith. I'll admit that there's been many times because I've had to acquiesce to the needs of my family, my husband, my kids, that I felt that possibly God's plan for them seemed to be so much better and richer than the one he had for me. Now I tend to think, wow, look at how incredible my life is. Not only did I get to build and see possibility in my life, I helped others to reach that place too. So even in that, I see everything is possible. Are there moments when you have that glimpse? When you see that moment in the world? When somebody says just the right word at the right time? When you thought your needs weren't going to be met? And somehow they were? Maybe you missed it. But now as you look back, God's bringing that very moment to your mind. And you can't help but see it. I hope that's true for you. I hope you can see. Everything is possible. Now, is the timing right? Is it the best choice? Is it going to take some doing, some time? Maybe you get to just make that choice for yourself. But while it might be possible, Maybe it's not necessary. Or maybe it's not the thing you want anymore. That, my friends, is wisdom. The Bible talks about wisdom as the very thing you want more than anything. And I think many times, because we live in a world of Google, that we mistake knowledge for wisdom. It could be, can't even be further from the truth. Wisdom is knowing when to hold your tongue or when to speak, when to fight or to be silent, when to execute on an idea and when to just wait for a better time. But in the midst of it all, still understanding that everything is possible. So I'd like you to take this next few moments And focus on something in particular God's been bringing to mind for you.
something that you perhaps didn't know you wanted anymore. Or perhaps that you stopped thinking about because it just hurt too much. Perhaps you've had many disappointments during this time of COVID. I know I've had plenty. Plenty of realizations. And yet there's still some things that suddenly came to the forefront. And I thought, oh, that's possible? Maybe there's something like that for you. Something that is possible right now. Take that, sit with it. Maybe as you're walking, doing your meditation today, putting it on the forefront of your heart. And letting God speak to you without expectation. One thing I've learned over the years is there is such a thing as having too many possibilities competing with each other at the same time. Choose just one. And have no expectation on it. And what I mean by that is maybe you even formed a whole plan around how it would happen. Drop it. Listen. Drop it. Maybe if nothing else we take away from this, that we don't have to do it the way someone else has done it. Can you imagine that God has something planned for you that is completely crafted for you, your personality? your life choices, your experiences. Scary, right? COVID's scary. Life is scary. Uncertainty is scary. So you have a choice. Everything is scary. Everything is possible. What is one thing that is possible today? Do you have the courage to sit with it and think about it? I hope you do. I hope you know it doesn't have to be something that's big to everyone else. But you know if it's big. Every time I begin a new way of writing or blogging or videoing, have to resist that tendency to want to look at others and see if they're doing it too as some sort of sign that it's a good time to do it or a good way to structure it or that I have to buy just one more gadget to do it with. Goodness, most, most of us have plenty of tools. We just keep getting told it's not enough and that's why we can't start. Just start. 
Why not? Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Hope you enjoyed this walking meditation. I'll be uploading two a week. Make sure and like and ring the bell to subscribe so you'll get the notifications. And tell me what you think. Send it to a friend you think would really be blessed from it. take these last few moments as if we were in a yoga class, what we call Shavasana. Rest. And let's rest in the words that the Holy Spirit are speaking to you. Some call it their conscience. Some call it an inner knowing. Take these moments to do just that. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace.